again with another cooking video. That's it. That's my intro. I'm Amanda, you're watching Small Entertainment, and we are doing another review from our place. They're always pot, which is their new thing that apparently is their cult favorite thingy. But even though I still don't think that they've had enough time to become a cult favorite, I think it's forced cult favorite, forced scarcity and all of that. But whatever. Here to make another cooking video because for some reason the last time I reviewed something from our place, you guys liked it a lot. And I don't know if it was because I was in the kitchen and you guys were like, oh yes, domestic swell. I don't know. Maybe some of you have secret housewife Amanda Swell uh, fan fictions in your computer somewhere and that's why you guys like these videos. I have no idea, but I've gotten so many requests to do more cooking videos. It's very interesting. I don't fully understand it, but I'm here because views. Sorry about the audio for any chance. Um, my mic setup is on the counter across from me because Hermes likes cords. <laughs> At last, a truly perfect pod. And they've got, you know, photos and all of that. First things first, give your perfect pod an accessory, a quick hand wash before you get cooking, all of that. I plan on doing that. He barks when I'm cooking. Um, but basically the plan for today is the same plan as last time when I reviewed the always pan. I'm going to be using this as my only like pan pot thing for the entire day. The only time I will not be using it is because I'm going to see Venom Let There Be Carnage uh, at two. So I will be getting popcorn. I have a couple of things planned out. You guys always judge me when I do these videos like for my cooking. Um, a bunch of you think that I don't cook. I cook like 99% of my meals at home. I'm, I'm cheap. I don't like, and things are expensive out here in LA. I don't want to go and pay too much money in a restaurant. It's just a lot. And also I have anxiety about walking into restaurants when I'm by myself. It's like a weird thing. So I cook like a majority of my meals at home. I just do. For some reason, a bunch of you thought I didn't, even though I said I did, which makes no sense. I've been making for breakfast right now. That's what I'm doing um, because I have to, Giving him that may have been a mistake. What I've been doing lately for breakfast because it's kind of a variation on what I used to do, which was doing like uh, a bit of like steamed vegetables, spinach, egg on top of toast, all of that, which I did last time. But I have a child now who barks when I'm cooking because he thinks everything is for him. So I speed run that basically. And now I just do a scramble, which is basically a lot of the same stuff, but just like all in one pot and then, uh, and then hoping it cooks. So I think that's what we're gonna do for breakfast today. And we're gonna see how it goes. Um, lunch, my plan is um, ramen, spicy ramen, um, doing that. And then for dinner, I thought I would do something ambitious and do a uh, shrimp boil. And by ambitious, I mean, I've never done it before. So got a bunch of stuff. I'm sure you guys are gonna judge me for that. Like you're doing it wrong. I know, that's fine. We're learning and I'm the other one eating it. For those of you that may wonder, do I still use the always pan? The answer is no. I gave it to my dad um, because I only have so much space. Oh yeah, I got the charcoal one. It looks pretty nice. I kind of dig it. They sent me another spoon, which is nice. This one's got a notch in it or three notches. So that's kind of nice. Hermes is like, oh, more cardboard. What's wrong? Is it because you won't get the box? Hang on. He's been whining a lot today. For no idea, I think it's just because he wants to gnaw on my feet because I sit in these kennel area with him and then he's fine. And then I get up and he starts whining again. But he like, when I'm sitting with him, he like goes to the other side and lays down. So I think he just wants company. He's going to a doggy daycare for a couple of hours later because if I leave him alone, he screams. But he likes doggy daycare, so that's good. Um, and so I'm gonna go see them and get that out of the way. Um, so he won't be here for when I'm making lunch, but he'll be here for dinner, so. Should be fun. I'm not using this. This is for, they have their own steam thingy. It's got a rubber stoppers. I will be rinsing it. It's got some type of finish on it. So the always pot answers a lot of the issues or at least one of the main issues that I have with the always pan, which was that it was so heavy yet I couldn't stick it in the oven. This is supposedly oven safe and can be used as a Dutch oven. This is a much cleaner finish on the rest of it. There's a bit of markings from the uh, box itself, but obviously we'll get that cleaned up. I mean, it's a pretty, <laughs> I just stick my fist. It's a pretty deep pot, all things considered. There's three notches. How does it, so that's two of the end ones. What about the middle one? Oh, no, that doesn't stay. That stays. 
Okay, I guess that's it. I'm gonna rinse everything out. I'll be back. Okay. It's the cooking time. It's more like getting a sandwich when it's all said and done. But I basically just use this as like a mechanism for eating my egg scramble. I have sausage, but I'm saving that for the lunch. And then I have a different sausage for the boil. These are already cut up mushrooms because they didn't have any of the whole mushrooms when I was Why are you whining? I'm right here. Hi. You're okay. You're mad because I'm not letting you eat what I'm eating and that's okay. I love you. You're so cute, but you can't eat my breakfast. It's mine. You take a dry paper towel and you stick it in your spinach once you open it and then you store it with the towel side down. The bag of spinach stays crisp. Like I have been going through all of my spinach before it goes bad lately. It's honestly the best tip of all time. And the fact that I didn't know it before makes me annoyed. And then you just store it like that. Totally works. It's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna let you out. You're being a brat. Come say hi to the people. And then I have to wash my hands again before I start cooking again. Say hi. Say hello. Is that you? Is that you? I just cut up the spinach, because though spinach cooks down, spinach is cool like that. I just like doing this. I find I get more in there like this. I'm trying to decide if I want to do eggs first or spinach first. Okay, I'm gonna turn this on. Okay. But want to know what you're tearing up? No, I do not. Okay, hold on. You bastard. <laughs> no. Okay, and we're back. It's sticking, so that's fun. I turned the heat down a bit. That's exciting. <clears throat> um, as far as the stick goes, <clears throat> not great um, this time around. Um, yeah. What? I just gave him some of his kibble and then he looked at me like I betrayed him because he thought he was getting eggs. <laughs> See what I did with? Got a mushroom and spinach scramble and toast. And I'll probably put some cheddar cheese on top of this. And now I'm gonna go eat my breakfast and make sure my son doesn't freak out. We're making ramen for lunch. And there was a recipe on TikTok that I found. I can't find it. It was not the viral TikTok recipe because I don't want to have cheesy ramen right now. I just don't want to. But I have spicy sausage. I've got, this is the noodle pack that we're doing. It's from Daiso. Okay, got my base over here. I'm gonna do mushrooms. I've got my chili peppers and I thought about doing miso as well, but I feel like that's gonna be too much with the base. So we're gonna choose to not do that for now, but I could always add it later. But right now what I'm gonna do is, I already cut up my uh, sausage. I'm gonna get the sausage going. Then I'm gonna add in my mushrooms. Then I'm gonna add in my base with some butter, because I wanna add some butter. I don't know, we're figuring this out. And then I'm gonna add an egg, and then we're gonna add the noodles back in, and then I have chives and shit. So, do I have green onions? I don't think I have green onions. Eh, I don't have green onions, but I'm really great at this YouTuber thing. Anyway, oh, I did the noodles already. I just did them like, just to get them softened up and broken apart, did that in here. Worked well enough. Oh, by the way, the reason I keep turning this on, even though I'm just doing this, is because my smoke detector, in my apartment. Sucks. Just sucks. No idea why. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do an egg, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of water. Just a little bit of water. A little bit. Of water. Okay, just so that the uh, soup base is something to, you know, dissolve in. I'm gonna toss in my noodles. Boom. I don't have any soy sauce or anything. The noodles are soaking everything up, so that's pretty good. Ah, that was shit. Is it perfect? No, but I'm, it smells really good, so I'm hoping it's gonna taste good. Yeah, that was getting pretty hot, so to be warned. Not too hot, like feasibly if I definitely needed to, I could pick up the handle, but I am choosing not to. Here. Also, this thing has the steam option here. You can turn it off, it's also part of the, you know. Or there's a steaming option here too. So, boom. Mm. 
Oh my god. Honestly, probably could be hotter. It probably definitely could have put more chili powder in there. But all around, pretty good. And I will say, for how big and thick this thing is, it does heat up pretty well and pretty evenly. Like when I was making the noodles, I didn't film it earlier because I was like, eh, it's gonna take me like a couple minutes. The water heated up very quickly, so that's good. Pretty good. Okay, I'll see you at dinner. And I'm back. So, Hermes luckily took a nap the entire time I was cutting everything up for the shrimp oil. Great, okay. We'll see how long it takes before he starts barking at me thinking all of this is for him. But yeah, so everything's all cut up already. By the way, it doesn't matter apparently how much working out I do, how much I gain upper body strength, how much gains I get. I can't cut through corn, an, an ear of corn to save my fucking life. I just can't. I am supposed to have these cut into thirds. They're cut in half. And I, for there was a bit of time where I was like, eh, I may not even do that, okay? Because I was having such a difficult, I just saw through these things. And even then, I had to get some elbow grease in there, hold one end down, and crack it upwards. I'd use a freaking fulcrum to freaking, uh, anyway. Uh, luckily, I'm the only one eating this, okay? If you ever come to my house or something and you see that there's corn on the menu, unless someone else is there helping me cook, don't eat the corn. If it's cut properly, I probably did some weird shit. What are you doing? So everything's all cut up. Everything's all good to go. We got the salt in there. I'm gonna start adding in everything. So I just found this recipe through the sprouts section, recipe section on Instacart. So I don't know where this recipe came from, but it's pretty easy and it showed me everything I needed. I already put the salt in, we're adding in the onions. It says four quarts of water. I feel like I did something wrong. So I lost count of how much water. So I'm worried I put too much water in this. We're gonna find out. So we got Louisiana crawfish, shrimp, and crab boil seasoning. And so it just says, whole bag. I'm just gonna, do I just put it in? I just, do I open the bag or do I just leave it? I'm assuming I just leave it in the bag because it's all sealed and there's holes in it. I don't know what I'm doing. If anyone comments, no, you're supposed to do this. Cool, I don't know. Have the lemon, okay? And I have more lemon for the end. That's in there. Whole thing of garlic. I probably did that wrong too. Who knows? This is all just a learning curve. We're just trying to figure out what tastes good. That's what we're doing. So that's all supposed to boil. So I'm gonna put this on here. Once that boils, then I'm supposed to add in the potatoes, sausage, and then here it says artichoke. I didn't do artichoke, I just did it. But I got the potatoes and the sausage. I'm gonna add that in, wait till the potatoes are soft, and then I do the corn, and then I do my big bag of shrimp. I'll be back, because I don't wanna just have this running while this is going. So once I add in the rest of the stuff, I'll come back to you. Here's how it's looking so far. Someone's gonna be like, you're doing it wrong. And you know what? Probably, it's probably not correct. But you know what? It smells fucking incredible. So I'm choosing to focus on that. Hermes started whining because he's in his kennel and he's just now realizing that this isn't for him. There's onions in it, oh! so he cannot have any. Hi, what is the problem? What is the problem? Everything's pretty cooked through now, so I'm going to add the corn and the shrimp. Bloop. Bloop. I did end up taking a little bit of the water out, but I'm fairly certain that I you know, put way too much in at the start. Plop this in there without burning myself, ideally. I may cover it just to, yeah. What? The onions fell apart beautifully, so I'm very excited. And this thing does have the straining spout on it, the pour spout. But the lid, apparently, the thing that I thought was part of the, um, one of the steaming things for letting it to, you know, steam a little bit, is actually a strainer. So I'm able to leave the lid on and pour out and drain this with the lid on it. So, I mean, that's kind of interesting. It smells so good. I'm very excited. <laughs> now he's laying on the floor with me. He's like, okay, fine. I guess I'll just sit here. Probably should have put the corn in first and just let that cook a bit because the corn's definitely not going to be ready. But again, I did halves instead of three pieces, so yeah. Fairies of cream, fairies of cream. I'm the little lad who has fairies and cream. It's kind of a tight fit, okay? I will say that. But obviously, this pot is a pot pot. But I mean, hey, they did have. On their website, one of their advertised was definitely a shrimp oil. Like that's what they were advertising. One of the advertisements like for the whole family or something like that. And so, uh, you know, I think that I am correct. You know, I think I'm correct in doing this. This was a good test considering it was in their advertisement. Am I a white girl who barely knows what she's doing? Yes, but what is the point 
of being able to try things when you're on your own living in a studio apartment and you have access to your own full kitchen then you know trying new things and i mean sure like the point of trying new things is usually not to film your mistakes for the internet or to do it while you're reviewing a pot but you know we're good you know if i can profit from my mistakes i think that's always a good thing too probably could have turned this off already but i just want the corn just to get a little more a little more spicy I'm not doing a Venom review. So for any of you who want my Venom review, they did not spend enough time on, on Screech. They just didn't. I felt like there was a lot of trauma and backstory they could have gotten into with her and they just didn't. 90 minute runtime probably could be longer. Um, not nearly enough carnage was done to warrant the name Let There Be Carnage. That's my thought. It definitely is another rom-com. It's, it's a monster fucker rom-com, 100%. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and then just let it sit because that's what it told me just gonna let it sit there. Okay? Okay. Just realized I am missing a piece of potato. So don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Like I said, this has the strainer right here. So I'm just gonna put this on like this and pick up the handles, which are still too hot. I'm gonna turn it and then I'm gonna strain it and then I'm gonna bring it back and then I'm gonna dish myself up. And uh, we're gonna see if I destroyed this or how it went. Oh my God, that's heavy. Yeah, I'm glad I moved him. Okay. Hi Hermes, hi Bubba. Okay, oh, I will point out the handle on top does not get too hot. Um, it does get warmer, but it's not too bad. I'm so excited, okay. I'm so fucking cool. And I'm supposed to pour this out on a platter. I'm not doing that. I'm just dishing myself up like this. Hi Bubba's, you don't get any, sorry. Trying my best, doing my best. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of meat for you, bubs. So he got some sausage. Oh yeah, he can't even eat it. Jeez, it's too big for him. It's also really hot. So yeah, sorry, bubs. I'm t I took that from you. Sorry, I love you very much. I did my best, trying not to drop things. Okay, I'm assuming I'm just supposed to go for it, but you know, it's really fucking hot. So fucking brilliant. Yes, I followed it a recipe, but you know, I barely followed it. Mm. Fucking brilliant. Okay. This isn't for you. You have your dinner. And I'm gonna give you some chicken later because I'm a nice mom. Mmm. <laughs> God, I'm fucking brilliant. Someone's gonna be like, you did some this thing wrong. That's okay. It tastes so fucking good. I don't care. If I were to do this again, probably will. Probably would change a couple of things. Would definitely add way more cayenne. Probably would cut up the sausage a little smaller to get some more of the spices from the sausage out there. Hi, I am so very sorry I cannot give you any. There's too much onion, but I will give you chicken in a little bit once I'm done finishing my job to help pay for, you know, I'm a single income parent. I gotta get all of the, <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. My dad's gonna watch this later and be like, one, why didn't you bring me any food? Because I'm seeing him tomorrow. And then he's also gonna be annoyed that I keep referring to Hermes as my son and referring to myself as a single parent. It's called the perfect pot, not the always pot, because I had to reread this and check that. So it's the perfect pot. I didn't test it in the oven, okay? And that was something that I originally was going to do and I just totally forgot about it. I was originally gonna make like monkey bread because that's a Dutch oven recipe that I like. I totally forgot to, and I have none of the stuff here to make it. So that's my bad. I would say that the weight of this thing is equal to the always pan. And that's saying something. Because the always pan definitely is designed to be left out. So is this. But I mean, I don't, see, I don't know, you know? It's got the steam tray as well, so you can steam stuff. The roasting rack and all of that. See, between the two, let me check what I paid for this. $180. Off the top of my head, I think the always pan was $145, I want to say. I'm not entirely sure. Off the top of my head, I will check. Yeah, 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 I know. I know, I'm a horrible mom. Between the two... I like this more. Do I still think that the always, that our place is like a cult favorite? I still don't think there's been enough time for a cult favorite because I think it's just, they just had their anniversary. So I think they just had three years. It is incredible the amount of growth and the amount of success they've been able to achieve in that time. But yeah, I don't know cult favorite. Mm, I still don't like that being thrown around for products because I do think there needs to be like nugget couches, cult favorite. There's a weird cult like mentality around that. This. I don't know because I don't have anyone. There's no one on my for you page 
aside from advertisements that are like, oh my God, you guys have to try out. There's just not that. Like there's not the fandom around something that's like a cult favorite. And I do think that in the social media age, you need to have that front facing audience of some sort in order to classify as a cult favorite. That's my take on it. Do I think it's worth $180? No. However, I really don't think anything is worth $180. That's just my view. Although, you know, some people, you know, I'm going to take that back because I do think that there are people I've, I've been thinking about this more and more recently because I do think that there are people who are willing to splurge in different areas of their life. So maybe you cook a lot, like you are willing to splurge on things that you use in the kitchen versus someone like me. I'm more willing to spend splurge on things for like, you know, my YouTube channel and splurge on like a new camera or something, or, you know, uh, sleep is something that I have a lot of issues with. So I'm willing to splurge on like nice pillows or nice sheets or something. And I'm willing to spend more money there versus I have no problem going to the dollar store and buying, you know, a pan from there. You know, like I don't mind that because I do think that, you know, they all work the same for the most part. Um, but as far as comparing the forever pot versus the always pan, I like this more because the weight alone, like, like even full of stuff, this is like equivalent to the weight of the always pan alone. I do think that, I don't know if this is a change from the always pan or what, cause they have the, also the similar top. Although I do think this is a different material, the um, handle function. This thing did not get that hot the entire time, which I do think is nice. Same style of lid straining system. I do think is nice, uh, but obviously this is a pot. So that's necessary. All in all, I don't think it's worth $180, although I do think that between the two, I would go with the always pot, okay? That's just me. Although again, mm, I don't know, kind of has to look at what you're going for because I mean the always pan, I mean the forever pot, not the always pot, the forever pan. Oh my God, the forever pot versus the always pan because the always pan, I mean, it is deep enough that you could boil in it, but I do think that, mm, I don't, I don't know. I think the storage and functionality or whatever. See, there's no long handle here that you have to deal with. Like this could feasibly, functions sitting on my stovetop, or even I could fit it in my cupboards. Like it, it does have that, even though it's large and deep between the two, I would go with this one. That's just me. May not be you. That's fine. Anyway, that's going to be it. Have you tried the always pan or the uh, forever pot? This just came out. So, I mean, my video is going to be coming out later than probably anyone else's. Have you tried this? Have you ever made a shrimp bake, even though a uh, shrimp bake, shrimp boil, even though you have no real business. Okay. Trying to make a shrimp boil. Is there anything that I did that you were like, that was dumb. You should have done this instead let me know comment down below reminder i have a podcast the swell shenanigans podcast new episodes every wednesday which means the day after today when you're watching this when this video comes out there will be a new episode i also have merch okay swell entertainment merch that's gonna be it shout out to my patreons thank you so much for supporting me on patreon if you'd also like to support me on patreon that'll be listed down below if you'd like to follow me on my social media that'll be all up here and that's gonna be it have a lovely day goodbye what i don't care if i did something wrong this is bomb as hell thank you alan alexis Braden, cameron christopher chris cody colton crash pc destiny devon dirty one don elliot evan feckles hopeless holla jucker ray joe john m jordan joseph kenny kevin kim Kristen, lamb lux lisa louise longa matt matt o matthew s me lord the red michael michael jane nathaniel pat pet and prowler robert ross sam skyler simon tasha timothy tom wendy williams Endry.